Hello friend, my name is Deepak and it's been more than a decade I'm working in a sales and marketing and represented a lot of reputed brands in Australia and back in India as well. Anyways, if you are confused for selecting solar company and it's hard for you to decide that it's going to be a bad installation or a good solar installation and if you're still thinking, isn't it? I'm sure after watching this two minute video, it will clear a lot of doubts and help you to differentiate your so-called solar cowboys. Now look, before buying your or building your house, you must have done a lot of research and now we are talking about something which you are going to buy for the same house. Now whatever is your reason for buying a solar system, like saving the money from uh, electricity bill, investment purpose, increasing a building value, protecting environment for generating your own clean energy or to claim subsidies. There are five things you should look into it before signing any solar code. Now let's begin. Number one, most important thing is to do your electricity bill analysis. That how much electricity I'm going, to, I'm, I'm using in a daytime, and after solar, how much roughly electricity bill you are going to pay. Ask your sales or energy consultant to do the bill comparison for you. You can use the solar calculator, which is available on internet as well. Because when you have a rough prediction of your new bill, then you can make an informed decision whether you should buy the solar or you should look for the finance option or what size of system you should buy. However, while doing the, uh, this comparison, don't get confused for a rebate and a feeding tariff. Number two, now come to the product. There are three major components for the solar system. Panels, which comes with 10 to 25 year of product warranty. Inverter, most of them are five plus five year of warranty. And third thing is racking and a mounting system. If I only talk about the quality products, there are three types of products are available in the market, which I classified between budget system, regular system, and a premium product. There are hundreds of websites where you can see this comparison. If you are not that technical savvy, uh, you can compare like BMW, Kia or a Toyota. Similarly, like when you're buying a, a laptop like an Apple, Lenovo, Dell or Acer, when you're buying a TV or even if you're going to eat a food or on a restaurant, it depends on a brand. Always remember, you generally get what you pay for. Number three. Now, when you know about the product, then try to inquire and understand about panel directions angles, your roof conditions, workmanship warranty, site inspection, any additional work required in meter or switch box, numbers behind the finance option and how long company will take to do the final installation. <sighs> so many things to remember. Now uh, number four, check solar company's profile, their physical uh, presence, their reviews on Google, solar code uh, or any other trusted platform to try to deal with CEC approved retailer. And if you're dealing with installer, then they should be certified electrician. Those use quality gear for installed solar. Check installer's name, their license number, solar panels gonna generate a high voltage DC electricity. Therefore, you, it have to be installed as per precise Australian standard to ensure a safe system. Number five, and, and it's very important, inquire about after installation steps like meter change, solar system documentation, which should have equipment handbook, certificate for a product warranty, electrical and safety documents. Hopefully this information helps you to make a wise decision because end of the day, solar system gonna get installed on your expensive and valuable house. Thank you so much for watching so far. Thank you.